Good morning to everybody that follows us for the message for the day. Today speaking from Hospital Porta de Hierro, where I will be getting a magnetic resonance. And the message for the day today will be dealing with now back in my parents' house here in Madrid. Uh, and the title of the message for today is The Mistake of Believing Yourself to be the Center. A tool or an obstacle, you can choose the role you want to play yourself on the path of integration. <coughs> You, your patterning, this body-mind of yours can either be a tool towards mm, fulfillment of your life or an obstacle. You choose. An individual reflects the entire universe within. For the individual soul is part of the universal soul, as everything is evolving at the same time. However, Despite being made of consciousness, the individual soul becomes confused and considers itself to be the totality of existence. The I is created. In other words, when consciousness becomes aware of those patternings, those impressions, those, this body-mind, the I, which is the, this force, you say, I am this. So the I, which is the totality, suddenly you limit it to this. And that's where the problem is created. The I is created. This is the origin of the ego. The ego is the misuse of pure consciousness and its limitation to a small consciousness. Yet, this small consciousness, like a hologram, can experience the whole picture. So this is the subtlety and the secret of this path of unfoldment. The ego falsifies your true nature by covering it with veils of foolishness, of ignorance, of nescience, so that your true self is forgotten and you say, I am a creature of circumstance. Believe no such thing. You are, di you are a divine creature who is beyond all circumstance. So this ego falsifies your true nature and tells you, ah, you are, you know, your circumstances, a creature of circumstances. You are this patterning that came to you through these circumstances and you are the circumstances you are experiencing and you are that. Believe no such thing. You are a divine creature who is beyond all circumstance. So what you are is beyond this little mind-body set, these circumstances in which this body mindset is embedded. The ego is made up of impressions that are interpreted by thoughts and then translated into acts. When you are not bound by your thoughts, nor by your acts, you enter the realms of freedom. Only then you are free. This is the meaning of liberation, self-realization, or, in other words, unity consciousness, in which the act, the actor, and the action become one. Your ego is nothing but a conglomeration of thought forms. And what reality, what tangibility is there in ever-changing thought forms? So, this is the main understanding. The projected reality of your little self 
is the veils, are the veils that cover your true nature. And you make the mistake of saying, I am discovering, instead of realizing that the energy that is there making all this is what you really are. And like a hologram, this little body mind can reflect the whole universe. And I can tell you this by experience, not because I've read it in a book. So for today, and remember, it's only one day, it's just for today. During the day of today, realize how many times you cover actuality with the veils of your conceptions, your impressions, your circumstances, your conception of things, how much times you are just covering actuality, the beauty, the palpitating force that is there in front of you, that is moving each of your cells, which is your true reality. How many times you cover that during today with your own conceptions, your own interpretations, your own ideas of what you are and what this life is. And you will find that you are putting the blinds so that you only see yourself instead of seeing this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful manifestation. So thank you very much for listening. Have a beautiful day today. And remember, it's only one day, it's only one practice, tomorrow will be another day, tomorrow will be another practice. Thank you very much, have a beautiful day, namaste.